Hi friends, here in this video, I will be explaining what is meant by sensible heating. Now, sensible heating can be defined as the process in which we are going to increase the temperature for a given air without changing its moisture content. And so, in order to explain it, I'll draw a diagram. Now here there is an example in which there is this heater inside which the hot fluid goes and then the hot fluid would be coming out. The heating element which we are using here it can have steam for example, hot water or it can simply be an electric heater which is used to heat the air since it is sensible heating. The air would be flowing over this heater. And this air would be having the dry bulb temperature which is TdB1, the term which I am using for the incoming air. Then when it comes in contact with the heater, the temperature of the air will go on increasing. And it goes out at a temperature of TdB2, the dry bulb temperature of air at the exit, which is obviously greater than the dry bulb temperature of in incoming or intake air because this is a sensible heating process. And here for this heater I am giving the notation that its temperature is TdB3 the dry bulb temperature for this electric heater or any kind of heater we can have. Now TdB3 will be greater than TdB2 because the temperature of the heating coil would be the highest that is since all the air which is passing over the heater won't be coming in contact so obviously the temperature TdB2 would be less than the temperature of the heating coil so here I can say that also TdB3 would be greater than TdB2 Next, the sensible heating process can be shown on a psychrometric chart. Roughly here I am drawing a psychrometric chart in order to explain it. Now this psychrometric chart contains the dry bulb temperature dBT on this horizontal line then this vertical line contains the specific humidity denoted by W unit is kg per kg of dry air then here we have a scale which would be showing the specific enthalpy for any air unit kilojoule per kg Then now I will explain this process on this rough psychrometric chart which I have drawn. TdB1 is the lowest temperature out of the three temperatures. So the process will start from TdB1. Then just projecting it light. Then to get the intersection here we should have any one more point over here. Now suppose I can say that if we have the wet bulb temperature of the air which is incoming at this point 1, just showing it with the help of an example. This line which I have drawn that will be indicating the wet bulb temperature for the incoming air because in order to have the intersection we should have at least two lines or 
even like for example here i am having dry bulb temperature and wet bulb temperature we can even have the dry bulb temperature and the relative humidity of the air so that we get the intersection point so by the dry bulb and wet bulb temperature here i am getting point number one then this air should be heated and since it is sensible heating the moisture content should not increase so when we look at this vertical line the moisture content will increase if we move up this line and the moisture content will decrease that is the air will dehumidify when we move down so if there is humidification process we have to move up vertically if dehumidification we have to move down vertically but here since it is sensible heating this line should follow a horizontal path and the temperature should increase and on the dry bulb temperature line it will increase towards the right hand side and how this chart should be read for that you all can refer my video in which I had explained the psychrometric chart whose link would be provided in the description of this video. Now the dry bulb temperature too I am assuming that it is over here. So here we get point number second TDB1 TDB2 that is the dry bulb temperature of incoming air and the outgoing air after that the coil temperature is the maximum temperature over here so it means after point 2 this line would be extended so that we get the dry bulb temperature for point 3 which is the heating coil 3 now this process which is from 1 to 2 it is showing sensible heating wherein as we see here the dry bulb temperature of air increases from TDB1 to TDB2 and the moisture content is same like if we plot this horizontal line on this vertical line which is showing the specific humidity so we can clearly see that W1 is equal to W2 that is the specific humidity remains constant and only the temperature is increasing so that is basically called as the sensible heating now if we plot this point number one on the specific enthalpy line we are going to get h1 as the enthalpy and similarly parallel to it on the specific enthalpy line we are going to get h2 so therefore the amount of sensible heat added can be given by I am denoting it as Q and it will be equal to the mass flow rate of air specific heat of air into the temperature difference basically that is delta T and it is TdB2 minus TdB1 similarly in the form of enthalpy it would be M dot into the change in enthalpy which is h2 minus h1 so in this way we can get the amount of heat added during the sensible heating process so in short that was a video regarding the sensible heating at the end if you'll find my videos helpful you can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching